This is the Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle, or SEV for short, set to begin production next year here in the United States. One of the standout features about this car is simply the fact that it can use the sun to recharge the battery up to 40 miles a day depending if you live in a sunny climate. But how does the Aptera stand up to the competition as of mid-2022? In this video, I will compare the electric cars that are currently on the market and make a case for Aptera as being the best choice when transitioning to an all-electric future. As a disclaimer, the top of the line maxed out Aptera is under $60,000, so all EVs in this video will be under $60,000 to make it as fair as a comparison as possible. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more Aptera and EV content. I greatly appreciate it. Starting with the Aptera itself, we have four different options in terms of battery sizes with the least expensive costing just under $27,000 and slated to provide up to 250 miles of range on a 25 kilowatt hour battery pack. And the biggest battery pack costing about $45,000 and capable of providing up to 1,000 miles of range on a 100 kilowatt hour pack. To put this into perspective, the least expensive Tesla, the Tesla Model 3, formerly known as the Dana Range Plus, starts at $47,000 as of July 2022 and sports a range of only 267 EPA rated miles. In my experience owning a 2021 Model 3 Dana Range Plus, I would say that I get maybe 220 miles on a full charge in real world driving and about 175 miles at highway speeds. The fact that the most expensive Aptera can get up to 1,000 miles of range, still being less expensive than the cheapest Tesla, is really saying a lot. Let's dive further into comparing Aptera and Tesla. Aptera has the option of two drivetrains, full-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, with prices ranging from $27,000 to the top-of-the-line large battery pack at $48,000. The only Tesla model under $60,000 is the Model 3, and that comes in two trims. The regular Model 3, which is rear-wheel drive and starts at $47,000, has an EPA range of 267 miles, and the long-range Model 3 is all-wheel drive with a range of 334 miles, starting at $58,000. Zero to 60 times are comparable for both the Aptera and Tesla, with the slowest Aptera going 5.5 seconds, and the fastest Aptera going 3.5 seconds, whereas the slowest Tesla goes 5.8 seconds and the fastest going 4.2 seconds for the performance model. The icing on the cake that gives Aptera the edge is the solar charging capability, allowing up to 40 miles of range to be put back into the battery every day, enough for many people's daily commutes. But when it comes to efficiency, Aptera is king Aptera currently expects to go 10 miles per kilowatt hour. However, that will likely change due to different factors, including weight and weather. But still, in comparison to Tesla, which is one of the most efficient EVs out there, gets only 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So Aptera just simply goes further on the same amount of energy that's used. Moving on to Ford, we can compare the Mach-E and the F-150 Lightning to the Aptera. The cheapest Mach-E is the Select, which starts at about $44,000 and is rear-wheel drive. It goes 0-60 to 60 in about 5.8 seconds and has a range of 247 miles, while the most expensive Mach-E is the Route 1 trim and is all-wheel drive starting at $55,500. It goes 0-60 to 60 in 4.8 seconds and gets about 312 miles of range. The F-150 Lightning recently started making deliveries and starts at $40,000 for an all-wheel drive behemoth of a truck. It goes 0 to 16 in 5.5 seconds and has a range of 230 miles on a very large 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. In terms of efficiency, we can see that the most efficient Mach-E only gets an efficiency of about 3.26 miles per kilowatt hour and the F-150 Lightning struggles at 2.09 miles per kilowatt hour, simply due to the boxy design and heavy weight. For GM, 
we have the Bolt EV and Bolt EUV, both starting off in the low $30,000 range, which is fantastic for new EV owners that are not too picky about features. The Bolt EV and EUV are both front wheel drive and go zero to 60 in 6.5 and seven seconds respectively. The range on the Bolt EV is 259 miles and the Bolt EUV is 247 miles. In terms of efficiency, we have the Bolt EV at 3.98 and the Bolt EUV at 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Not bad, all things considered. If you are still tuned in, I hope you are enjoying the video. If I am swaying your interest in one day owning an Aptera, then you have the option of reserving one using my referral link for $30 off. This will help me in owning my own Aptera and also enable you to share your own personal link as well to help spread the word. Next up is Hyundai with the Ionic 5 and Kona EV. The Kona starts at $34,000, is front wheel drive, and gets 258 miles, while the least expensive Ionic 5 starts at about $40,000, is rear wheel drive, and gets 220 miles of range. Zero to 60 time for the Kona is 7.9 seconds, the slowest Ionic 5 is 7.4 seconds, and the fastest Ionic 5 is 4.4 seconds. The top of the line trim for Hyundai is the Ionic 5 Limited, which starts at about $56,000. The Kona's efficiency is a respectable 4.03, while the Ionic 5 ranges from 3.31 to 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Kia, the sibling to Hyundai, produces the EV6 and Nero EV with the Nero starting at $40,000 and the EV6 at about $41,000. The Nero is front wheel drive, has a range of 239 miles and goes zero to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds. The EV6 can either be rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, has a range from 232 to 310 miles and goes zero to 60 in 8.0 seconds for the least expensive trim and 4.5 seconds for the GT line. The most expensive Kia EV is the EV6 GT, which starts at about $56,000, just like the Hyundai Ionic 5 Limited trim. Efficiency is decent for the Nero at 3.73 and good for the EV6, ranging from 3.54 to 4.01 miles per kilowatt hour. VW is making a name for itself in the market, with the ID line of EVs starting with the ID4. Pricing wise, the rear wheel drive ID4 Pro starts at about $41,000, while the ID4 Pro S is all wheel drive and starts at $46,000. Range figures for the ID4 are 275 miles and 249 miles for the all wheel drive version. Zero to 60 times, are 7.7 .7 seconds for a rear wheel drive and 5.7 seconds for the all wheel drive. We have efficiency ranging from 3.35 to 3.73 miles per kilowatt hour for the ID4. Audi makes sporty and stylish EVs with the Q4 e-tron line and the least expensive model, the all wheel drive e-tron Quattro starts at $50,000 while the all-wheel drive Sportback e-tron model starts at about $3,000 more at $53,000. Since all these e-tron lineups share the same platform, range figures are the same at 241 miles for both and 0 to 60 times are also the same at 5.8 seconds. And lastly, efficiency is 2.94 miles per kilowatt hour for both trims. When it comes to BMW, we have the i4 eDrive 40, which is a rear wheel drive electric sedan that starts at around $55,000. It has a range of 300 miles and goes zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Efficiency is, is respectable at 3.72 miles per kilowatt hour. Volvo produces the XC40 Recharge and all wheel drive crossover starting in the mid $50,000 range like the BMW i4. The XC40 can go 0 to 60 in the zippy 4.7 seconds, but only gets a range of 223 miles due to having the second lowest efficiency at only 2.86 miles per kilowatt hour. 
Lastly, we have the Polestar 2, which can be either front wheel drive or all wheel drive and starts at $50,000. The front wheel drive version can go 270 miles, while the all wheel drive loses 10 miles going 260 miles on the full charge. The Polestar 2 can go 0 to 60 in either 7 or 4.5 seconds, depending on the drivetrain. Efficiency for the Polestar 2 is 3.46 for front wheel drive and 3.33 for all wheel drive. As you can see, the Aptera brings a lot to the table in terms of speed, efficiency, and range. Throw in the added range from solar and the right to repair, we have a jack of all trades type of vehicle. The only knock on Aptera when comparing to the other EVs in this video is the lack of seating. The first Aptera will be a two seater, but they plan on making bigger versions in the future. I hope you gained something from this video. If you did, drop a like and comment if you reserved or plan to reserve an Aptera in the future. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thank you and see you in the next video.